Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday and it's not team of the year time, but it is the promo that we have known about for the past couple days and it is here today. Headliners, we're gonna take a look at that loading screen, talk about some of the cards we could see again today, what market movements we could see as well, maybe a few predictions again on the team that could come out and predictions content wise like objectives, SBCs and stuff like that for today's game. And of course, where you could see the market headed today on Friday, New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, by the way. All of you guys watching this video, 2021 EA is starting off with a bang with the headliners promo. This is the loading screen that we got yesterday on Thursday. And it's looking like only one player is kind of obvious from this, especially if you think about what the headliners promo is all about. The player on the left with the Monaco badge kind of has to be Ben Yedder. If it's not Ben Yedder, we're going to be very surprised because, again, you think about the cards that EA wants to put on the promo screens. They want to put, you know, pretty popular players, the guys that are going to want to sell packs that you're going to be able to kind of guess and think about and think, yo, this might be a card that's coming. I might be interested in that. So I think the left card is Ben Yedder. I think a lot of people are in agreement with that. Now, this player in the middle, we're not so sure about Joao Felix, Benzema, um, you know, a lot of names have been tossed around for who this player could be Griezmann possibly, but he already has a live item. Joel Felix, of course, like Depay is another one people have been talking about. This player in the middle, Dybala, like we really don't know who this is. Kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested to see who that player actually is. And then this Brazilian on the right with 85 physical. We're not sure about this one either. A lot of people are saying Fabinho as a center back or Gabriel from Arsenal, the center back. But in my opinion, I feel like that player has to be somebody else because I don't know if EA is going to advertise a Fabinho, maybe a Fabinho they would advertise on the home screen. But, um, you know, EA doesn't need a special reason, even though this headliners promo is based off of players that have had um, incredible form glimpses of potential under a man new manager system or a return from the treatment table. So basically inside of that, like what EA titled headliners is last year, they could give a card that literally has no informs a, a headliner card. And it says right here, and this is where, you know, when we've been figuring out who is going to be, who, who these players are, a lot of people are saying, well, let, this guy didn't get a special card. Well, technically, like if Fabinho doesn't have any informs or um, there's another card, Neymar doesn't have any informs, uh, you know, they, they technically, they, they don't have to, right? At the launch of the event, each foot 20 headliners player is released with one inform upgrade higher than their latest qualifying performance based inform. It lists the options or their base item. So that or their base item in there kind of just means EA could put whoever they want to in the promo today. I'm curious to see who it is, but of course, with this card looming, and I'm going to drop the link to this prediction in the comments below um, because this is a really awesome prediction. That card right there, this is not going to be cheap, right? And this is the talk of the town today. This Ben Yedder card, what it could be inside of foot off of this loading screen. So let's talk about market and content for today on Friday. With a new team coming into packs, a lot of people have saved up packs out there. We do have some SBCs going away, I believe. A couple, I think Joao Felix is going away really soon. Let me go to the live tab. What SBCs are expiring that are at, at of, as of notice? The team of week upgrade goes away. Nabry is going away. The foot freeze challenge, that one at least. Um, so some of our last freeze SBCs are going away tomorrow, except for Firmino. He's going to be staying out. But um, I think today we are going to see a headliners player as an SBC. If you remember last year, we had a couple decent SBC players inside of the headliners promo. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, now he didn't technically end up getting upgraded, I don't think, um, but we had the Playa objective. No, Playa got upgraded last year. Yeah, Playa was definitely upgraded because he had an 87 rated man of the match. So I remember a lot of people grinding that card last year. Um, we had, I forget uh, which year it was. Maybe it was in team two where we had a Tammy Abraham um, card. And I think this might've been an SBC. Um, but Tammy Abraham was another one of those headliners. I think that this was, yeah, it was an SBC. This Tammy Abraham was out. That was an SBC last year. So if you take a look at the two teams from last year in FIFA 20, we had some decent SBC and objective content. Adama was an SBC, I believe last year. That was uh, a card that was a very rat like card last year. And a lot of people were not a huge fan of him. So I would expect decent SBC content today as well inside of the game, alongside with kind of a juice up team. 
and we'll maybe talk about that in a second. But I would expect one player SBC today that would be a headliners player and possibly something else like a, you know, they could easily throw in something like a um, a flashback or a any, any sort of SBC like that. Now, we had our first flashback in a long time with Ben Arfa, but we might see another one of those um maybe like a UCL flashback or just a the special SBC card type, like the one that um, Oxlade Chamberlain had. Whatever card design that was, we haven't had one of those in a while. So possibly one of those. And then I would expect another objective card as well. Another big thing about today is we're getting the new season, right? So this, like all the objectives, objectives that expire at the season end, Silver Stars Dam, Icon Swap, and two away. Um, this Beckham will be going away, I believe. Um, maybe not. Serie leak. No, no, these, these don't go away. But the ones that are expiring, the ones that are expiring at the end of the season, like these icon swaps, which I think they are, right? Icon swap, the season two is over in like 20 hours, right? It's kind of on the right here. It's over today. I think these icon swaps are expiring, but um, all that stuff goes away today. Now, there's no players that are in here right now, but I do think they will add in uh, some players. Oh, yeah. Delafeu is going to go away because Bellerin went away. But anyway, um, that is going to be coming into the game today. Actually, I might be wrong there because I already did Bellerin. Yeah, he's already down here. Never mind. Yo, these league players, they kind of confuse me. I'll be honest. Anyways, I think we're seeing a headliner um, objective today. You'll see an objective and you'll see an SBC along with the players that are in packs. Now, speaking of the market, we've had a nice rise today. We've had a nice rise today on the market. I've made a decent amount of coins on these cards. I double dipped. So what I did was I bought these cards for flips, all my Thursday flips that I bought yesterday and a couple days ago. I've sold those, right? I was buying Pepe's at 48, 49,000 coins. I bought these Moreno's at 54, 55. These Jotas were bought at mid 60s. These Andres Camaras were bought in the mid 50s, low 50s. A lot of stuff went up with rewards yesterday. And then stuff, some stuff kind of came back down. I was buying this Holland I got at 170 or 165, I think. These Lewandowski's were both at 240s in the 240 range. Those were nice flips. Um, and the market kind of is continuing to go higher tonight into the evening time, uh, New Year's Eve into New Year's Day on Friday. One card we were, we were watching was this Rashford going down to like 875. And seeing if he'll bounce back tonight into the morning time. But I do think you will see a little bit of panic selling this morning. But the biggest part of the market that I'm intrigued about today is the first hour or so when they put these new cards into packs. I don't know if you guys remember. It was earlier this year. I think it might have been with Rule Breakers. I know we had some um, server issues when the Rule Breakers came out earlier this year. Uh, like, but all these rule breaker cards were like their cheapest within a short time frame after they were actually released into packs because there were so many people that were saving packs and there's so many packs that are saved up right now. It's crazy because of course people were expecting us to get team of the year. And since that's not coming, at least this weekend, so many people have saved up packs that are just sitting in their store and they're not going to be able to to be composed and to not open those packs. So I think today what you're gonna see is a lot of the cards that get released, a lot of these headliners, now I'm looking at last year's team just as an example, but whatever is released into packs today is gonna get supplied a lot in the first hour or so, the first 30 minutes to an hour, you're gonna see tons of pack supply. How is that gonna affect these cards? They're probably gonna be at their almost lowest within that first hour or maybe during the second hour when people who pack those cards relist them i think these guys are not going to start super expensive unless the pack weight's really low um even even then even if the pack weight is really low i feel like there's so many saved up packs that there will be just a lot of supply coming into the game um uh at that time so one thing that could mean is if you do see panic selling this morning on the market right Panic selling this morning on the market um, on out of packs cards that are very, very meta. I think you can get involved, right? I think you can get involved on that stuff per usual. But one thing I'd be very careful with is golds. I remember last time we had saved up packs that were opened. Uh, a lot of the gold cards got absolutely destroyed because there were just so many packs that were saved and that were open. Guys that I would be worried about would be guys like Rashford's out of packs, but like a Mane, a Joe Gomez, a Ferland Mendy, Bruno Fernandez, gold, um, which is 70K. What? Wasn't this, this guy's up a bunch today, man. What a rise. What a rise this guy had. He's up 10K. That's crazy. Anyway, um, guys like that, even like gold 
Pugba, gold, you know, some of these cards that are still carrying a decent price range that are gold items, I think they'll get really hit today with supply. You know, maybe a guy like Salah, you know, I think that today might be a day where fodder drops a decent amount because when saved up packs are opened, um, that's just a lot of, you know, of course, EA can, they can tweak the pack weight a little bit, but I think it might've been for team of the group stage or another promo we had earlier this year where a lot of saved up packs were open. Gold just got destroyed. Um, in that first hour with all of, of the people opening up those saved packs. So just be careful on those. But if you're looking at the out of pack stuff and, and going with those gold cards would be the current team of the week because these guys right now, Carrasco is down because if the people invested in him, I would stay away from any of these team of the week cards unless you're going to do a quick flip trade uh, because they're going to get spammed with supply tomorrow um or today with the lighting rounds that come out now for the rest of the team of the week cards right road to the final threes very inflated right now wynaldum's 490 pogba's 568 if you bought these cards as an investment i know i've been saying this for the past two days i might just get out of them because i i don't know man i just don't like how much these cards have risen i feel like yes they're very rare but there's a lot of investment that's gone in here could they go lower today and then bounce higher even after all the packs are opened tonight? Yes, because I think the market's going to bounce, again, pretty high tonight. Because if people are opening saved up packs, what that means is they're going to go out and they're going to spend those coins. Because people are, are they're not seeing team of the year in front of them. And they're not going to be able to hold those packs that much longer. Now, if you're holding packs, stay strong and hold them for team of the year. I don't think everybody else is going to be able to do that. So stuff that gets low with panic selling in the morning today on Friday, I think it's going to be a full send. Icons as well, they've been, icons have been tough, right? A lot of panic selling on those, but I think you're going to see today a potential for those to rebound as well. And of course, your really meta items that people continue to use every single week, uh, your Van Dyke, some of these record breakers. Vardy was at 515K today. He's back down to 449, but he had a huge, huge rise. So as always, we watch out for the panic selling. We love the rule breakers, right? We love some of these cards, um, you know, and, and when people get these new special cards, right? We're talking about League One special items like a Ben Yedder. There were people today that were investing already in this Fabregas. He, this card is up like 20,000 coins almost. He was 80K. Um, even this morning, he was 80,000 coins. And then since Ben Yedder has been shown on the code, you have more people going out and buying this Fabregas card. So just kind of keep that in mind. You have, you know, maybe some links to like, if Ben Yedder gets in, I wouldn't say that like Mbappe would be a link investment, but you, you definitely want to look at, especially with the league one stuff that is going on right now. You take, take an eye out, right? We have uh, the Awar SBC. A lot of people did not take an eye out, but have an eye out for some of these other French league one premier league, the meta cards that we always look at on out of pack specials keep an eye on those today big time big time big time big time um and especially if they drop like a big striker in the game uh you might see a guy like harry kane drop down this laporte i guarantee you this laporte card is gonna hit 500k flat at some point today on friday this dude was 500k earlier today and i didn't buy one of course because i didn't find 500 flat and i wanted 500 flat but he went to 509 and now he's back to 540 that's literally this card fluctuates like that every single day it's probably going to fluctuate that like that today again as well. So just keep an eye out for the market. Icons, baby icons would be a big move, right? I think baby icons would be a big move. And I feel like since we're not confir we're confirmed not getting team of the year today, people are still a bit hesitant. But like this Blanc card was 1.01, 1.02 earlier today. And now he's basically up to 1.1 mil. Baby icons out of packs. They're really meta ones. You know, baby Del Piero, baby... Um, not to go too high in value, like crazy high, but you know, um, baby soul Campbell would be one that probably would be pretty good, uh, as a flip investment. Baby Cannavaro is like those icons that the baby cards are a lot more valued than, um, some of the mids and the primes definitely keep an eye out for those today. Cause they're out of packs, of course, and there's less supply there. And a lot of these informs, right? This Lewandowski flips, uh, fluctuates around a ton. Uh, I was just selling mine in the mid 260s. I bought it at 245 and boom, there's another one at 258. Like these cards fluctuate a lot. Now, some of them, you might see panic selling today on cards like Holland. Um, then this is why I flipped him today was because I knew this guy was in the running to get a, a headliner card today. But like this guy, like Ben Yedder for sure, since Ben Yedder is almost guaranteed to be in, um, Ben Yedder's new card is probably going to start somewhere like 1.5 mil is what he's going to start at on the market, in my opinion. 
And yes, he will drop down from that point, but you're going to have some of these cards that just start off very, very expensive today. And some of the lower tier, like the Inforums and the other special cards that those guys have might bounce back a little bit. One guy to watch out specifically for would be Zaha, I think, because he's a very popular card in this game and his, his Inforums keep going higher. This guy was a hundred and he was a hundred and 35k yesterday man and the guy is now wow he's past 160 166k for this first inform zaha is nuts that's crazy because the second inform i believe is like um it's like 230 unless it's continuing to go up more itself 241 so well, these these informs are really really going high tonight 239 238 235 so these guys are really really bumping up in price on the zahas People love this card in this game because he's five-star skills. If he does get an item today, if that card does come out and it's like a million coins right off the bat, and then it only gets to its cheapest at like 700k, or even if it is 700k in the first hour, you know, if you see this inform, 86 inform back down around 215, or if you see the 85 inform somewhere around like 130, I would get very interested in that again because of the, the potential fluctuation that you could have back on those cards. So again, the big thing to keep in mind is a lot of saved up packs and if the promo itself is not that good people are going to be focused on icon swaps again because we have more tokens that will be out icon swaps don't really affect the market that much in my opinion um but you know if you're doing icon swaps and you're getting these packs you're probably saving those for team of the year maybe you're opening them to do an icon upgrade uh or something like that but I don't think that this will really impact the market that much. I know that there is icon swaps out, so uh, that's going to be some new requirements in the objective time in the objective area here. A lot of people have started investing in like you know for like icon swaps too. Here we have Air Divisi, EFL, and MLS. Some people are investing in, in like Chinese league or um, like the Turkish league because they think those are going to be the next squad battle um, objectives to complete. And then other people are, are buying up um, like. UCL cards because they think they're going to be required, which yes, that could be the case. And those could be money makers today. So definitely keep an eye out for some of that stuff. That's just not necessarily like my, my cup of tea in this game, to be honest. But the big thing today for real is I think you will see some panic telling this morning um, because just, that's just the way it is, right? Every single week, there almost seems to be a little bit of panic selling on promo Fridays. And I think people will open up saved up packs because I expect a pretty juiced team with Ben Yedder being in it. I mean, they could throw a sun in today, Zaha, Holland, a lot of big name players could be in the team today. Joao Felix would be a big name that could be in too. So just keep an eye out for some of that stuff. It's going to be a hype day. It's going to be a busy day on FIFA, um, with the new headliners promo. So we'll cover it all here on the channel after it happens and of course live on stream today on friday as well if you guys are interested that link is down below in the description check it out the links down there get connected on twitch on twitter in the discord and of course subscribe here on youtube as well if you enjoyed the video today thumbs up would be greatly appreciated if you do have questions drop them down below and again subscribe if you are new happy new year boys we have a big 2021 ahead of us i will see you guys later it's been nate the foot accountant peace